alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome to Success Path, where we explore success stories. Today we have uh, Riyad Bilayid, a profilic writer with not just one book, but two. Today we are going to delve into the journey of his writing, of exploring his literal, literal side and inspiration and creative process that have brought these words to life. Uh, Riyad, welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. So, can you present yourself and tell us m a little bit about your writing skills, your what drove you to writing? Okay, sure. Well, first of all, my name is Riyad Blade. I'm a student in Hasbro Mubali Shlif, Master of Journalism. I'm 23 years old. Mm -hmm. I started my career at writing an official books well, published in 2021, February, I guess. This, this is how I started writing books. Like during 2016, I started writing books, etc. little by little. Mm -hmm. Then one of my skills, into, as I told you before, in February, I published my first book. And next year later, inshallah, there is a new book. Okay, so third yeah. book is coming. Inshallah, of course. So you studied journalism. Yeah. Did that uh, affect you and make you want to write? No, not at all. Because I started like at the age of 16. Mm -hmm. I was in high school, so it's not a big deal. I did for myself, to be honest with you. I started writing for myself to get my med medicament back because writing is like a amount, okay? Yes, it is. Mm. Okay, now, can you share a little bit about your books? Like, what every one of them talk about and characteristics, maybe? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, for, the, for the first book, it's 34 Thoughts. 34 and, Thoughts? Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, the second one, it's Three Moods. So the first one, it's limited series. So what I've done, that to make people know the first book and the second book, so mm -hmm. I combined two books together and oh, published okay. three. Yeah, I'm come uh, published three. Smart. Months. Yeah, because a lot of people miss my first book, so I decided mm -hmm. to publish this one and combine together and give this three moods. So three moods, group of thoughts, simple thoughts, that with multiple feelings, problems, mistakes, anything. So it speak about our life. To be honest with you. Real life. Yeah, real life, like real problem life. Like people don't know how to find a solution, or like, so I, I did find a solution for them. It's maybe about, uh, it's about expressing yourself, your yeah. feelings, your thoughts. This is it. Express uh -huh. my feelings to me, to, me, to the others. Mm -hmm. By sharing your thoughts, I was able to publish this one. Let everyone understand how to figure out, to find a solution with themselves. This is it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, now what initially sparked your passion for writing, and and how did it evolve over time? Well, as I told you before, mm. writing is my medicament. Like when I'm in pain, pain, or overthinking thinking what I did, that was right things. Treatment. Yeah, like treatment. Therapy. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. Like writing is really good things to let yourself out, mm -hmm. express your feelings. The best thing that no one can read it unless you publish it. This is it. Okay, let's stop at this point. Yeah, sure. Let's go together to the jingle and come back. We are back with uh, Riyad, who is an inspiring young writer. Uh, we were talking about the spark and the passion uh, for writing and how did it evolve over time and over your career. And yeah, yeah let's continue. Yeah, of course. Uh, so as I told you, writing makes me express my feelings. I try to develop myself little by little mm -hmm. by writing and try new experiment every time. Like mm -hmm. when I write something, even if it's painful or happy one, I try to develop myself to make everyone who wants to read or do it follow his dream. Just follow it. Follow our path. This is it. Mm -hmm. It's not hard to. Okay. So as a writer, what um, what are the main reasons and the main messages that you aim? To, to convey through your words? Uh, look, the book is psychology, I think. Like a lot of people are afraid or sh from sharing his feelings or from mistakes or problems. Mm -hmm. So I, I call it from psychology things. I aim for psychology things that people are afraid to share or to fa even face it. I was brave enough to face them and give it a solution to make it easier for everyone. So you're aiming to make people share their feelings more, their ideas yeah. more, their thoughts more. I want to make people happy and live the best way they can. This is okay. it. It's so simple. That's good. Okay, now could you share uh, insight uh, into your creative process and how, how do you approach like writing? Well, it's so simple. Writing 
the main the main the main thing in writing to be patient with it okay mm -hmm. it's not not always writing things etc you need to be patient with it and, uh, especially when you have you no know, inspiration to write mm -hmm. you need to focus on your writing skills you need to be patient and little by little you get what you want by publishing things you are satisfied with okay from your first book to your second book like what were there any lessons that you learned and make you want to made you want to do better on the second one definitely yes definitely. let's talk about that yeah they say it is just a number for us mm -hmm. like well, i'm young but i lived a lot of things that people of bigger age they didn't live it so mm -hmm. as my my experience i try to convert every experience in my life terrible or good one to this book i was able to make anything to words this is so what are the insights that you gained and helped influence your storyline, your life in general? I was satisfied with it, to be honest with you. Every mistake I've done with it, I'm glad that, I have, because every mistake happened for one reason, mm -hmm. to learn from our mistakes. It's so easy, by the way. If you don't learn from mistakes, you will do it again and again and again, but you will never yes. learn it. But if you do one mistake and repeat it once again, and you learn from it, you will never do this mistake again. So what are the mistakes? Mistakes in our life, like people judge people, yeah. like overreacting, overjudging, mm -hmm. etc. So for me, you need to focus before you talk. This is because we talk shitty things that aren't supposed to say. Yes. But you need to focus in your work. This is. It. This is. It. Thank you, Riyad. Yes. Let's go to the second jingle and come back after. Now we are back uh, to Riyad, an inspiring young writer. So, we were saying, uh, readers often connect deeply with authors. How do you hope your book resonates with, uh, with your audience and what kind of impact are you aspiring and aiming to make? Well, first of all, it took nine years to publish the book. So, after a lot of studies... Three months took nine years. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, it takes a lot of time, to be honest. A lot of studies to see how the others live and react to their problems and behavior, etc. So I was close enough to people, to ev not everyone, some of them, mm -hmm. to try to create some stories in my mind to, uh, to touch their feelings, to make them feel Maybe what I felt. Maybe to understand their feelings. Yeah, this is it. Yes. To express what they feel. It took time. Mm -hmm. to it takes time, them. yes. Yeah, of, of course. course. Because it's not easy to study them. It takes time to even understand your own feelings and your own thoughts. Yeah, this is it. Because it's not not everyone can understand exactly. it. Exactly. Because, yes. because feelings, it's something very sensible. Okay. Now, not anyone can feel it and touch it. So. Do you think? Do you think that the Algerian society um, have a problem with that? That's yeah. what made you maybe write? A lot of people shame and afraid from it's their feelings. Is it? That's a fact, actually. Yeah, this is the fact. This is the truth. Ever mm -hmm. Not every Algerian person, but it's the reality. The most Major of them. The majority. Of them. They are afraid to share their feelings with, with their beloved or anyone they love. For me, mm -hmm. go for it. Don't be ashamed of it. It's not, it's not worth it, to be honest. Go yes. for it. Live. We live once, not twice. Okay. So enjoy your life. Yes. Yeah, okay. So now, exploring the journey further, can you... Can you share a little uh, about like obstacles and challenges that faced you and what are the specific strategies that made you outcome them and continue your writing journey? Well, the first obstacle is to share a book because there is several things mm -hmm. in the book talk about me. So a little bit afraid and shame if people will love it or not or if they like it or not, mm -hmm. because there's like and dislike, to be honest, this is it. Maybe you were afraid to be misunderstood. Yeah, this is it. I was f really, really afraid people misunderstand me, okay? But with my mom's support, this is my key to the success, to be honest with you. This is the key of everything. So because of her, I'm right here with you in the TV show. So, so for me, follow the path by me on your own way. So it's all about your mom. Of course. She's yes. the, my key to discuss yes that's so yeah. good that's so pretty beautiful actually what would you say as a last word maybe um, a motivation to the young people who have ideas in their minds well everyone from the, from the small, small one to young young old no everyone. matter what the age is go for it live because we live as you thought we live once not twice yes, really follow your dream by making your own path mm -hmm. don't be afraid from what you face be afraid what you lost this is it so I uh, truly hope to people follow what they want, not what they desire, because from what we want and what desire is not the same thing. Follow, mm -hmm. 
choose How the one. How is that? I mean, people desire things, but mm -hmm. forget what they truly want. They don't value things. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, people don't value things until they lose it. Okay? Yes, true. This is it. I hope someone will get something valuable. Try to keep it and hold it, and to try to use it in a better way. Not just wasting time, ignore things. Be aware what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. The last thing, I hope you really enjoyed this program. And yes. Thank you for the invitation. The last thing, I hope everyone who helped me to where I'm, be here right now yes. to be happy what I did. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us, Riyad. It was so such a pl pleasure. It was pleasure such a fun mine. and good, beneficial conversation. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Dear viewers, we have arrived now to the end of today's episode from Success Path. We had Riyad, a young, inspiring writer with his books that talks about ideas, feelings, and everything around that. Thank you for being with us. See you next time.